Okay. Okay, so the past year has been a very busy one for me. There's been a label change. There's been a, a new team of people around me. There's also been a, a new Firewind record after five years. Since I moved on from Ozzy, I thought it was a good time to, uh, to put together a new band and do uh, my third solo record. Go for it. All right, let's continue listening. The first two albums, I'm the Fire and Brand New Revolution, were more experimental efforts. I worked with a lot of different people. I collaborated with different songwriters, producers, and singers. And I just tried out a, lot, a bunch of stuff on the more hard rock side. Some stuff was more modern, some stuff was more um, uh, retro sounding. Uh, whereas uh, the time came for this record, uh, I really sat down and thought about what my sound should be like and what that would be. So this album has to really define uh, where I'm at as a solo artist. So right now I'm in Germany at Hoffa Studios uh, where we just uh, track drums and uh, we're continuing uh, with uh, the recordings of uh, my new album. What's the, uh, is that, that's, that's a rest right there, right? Okay. <laughs> Because then I slide, it's not like a, you know what I mean? Otherwise it sounds weird. My, my slide on the riff is gonna sound weird. Then, okay. I actually wrote a lot of songs for this record. I think I wrote around 20 songs. And in the end we chose the 12 best, so to speak, of that had a, a more distinct direction. Yeah. So it's going real well though. Uh, yeah. Fucked up, you done fucked up, man. actually. Yeah. The ending we had before, it was actually quite cool. I'm going to try to integrate that. And then I want to try to cut the end in as well. Let's see if that works, but we'll do this first. And then do the whole song again. And then we do it for real? Yeah. Yeah. Do the whole song for real. Yeah. It was a good test. Okay, let's do it. Dennis Ward is a man that wears many hats uh, when it comes to um, uh, his involvement in projects like these. I met Gus um, through an email conversation. We were discussing the possibility of writing songs together for a project that never came to be. Long story short, because Gus G at that time had just joined Ozzy Osbourne. We decided to try to do a production together for his Firewind band. Since I started working with Dennis Ward on the Firewind record, Immortals, last year, we really clicked as a team and as a songwriter team. He's a great guy to work with. I like his, his style of songwriting. We clicked really well. So I really wanted to continue writing with him. Then he approached me about his solo project. And I said, dude, why don't you just play the bass as well? You know these songs, you co-wrote them with me. It was just a natural thing for him to, to also be the bass player in this record. Towards the end of uh, the writing sessions, we were thinking about, I was thinking who could be the singer for this project and Dennis came up with the idea and said, hey, how about we do uh, an old school setup, like a power trio rock band where I play bass and I sing. And um, I thought it was a great idea. I gave it some thought and I was like, wow, this would be something really different. And so we decided to go for it. I mean, 
Dennis sings great. A lot of people might not know about it. Uh, people know him as a bass player of Unisonic or Pink Cream 69 or as a producer, but they do not know that he's got an amazing voice. The stuff that Gus introduces to sing to, to write melodies to, is very inspirational. So it's never difficult. I've never had a hard time trying to come up with ideas for his music. As usual, basically, I just sit in my home studio, I, I write all the music, and do the arrangements. I program drums, play bass, play the guitars. And I'll take these ideas and just hash out some vocal ideas over, usually just some basic uh, vocal melodies and maybe a vocal hook uh, lyrically. And uh, once this is uh, to a point where I feel comfortable with it, I send it over to Gus and ask his opinion, real simple, you know. And we basically go back and forth like that. And now we're in the process of recording it all. So we've got it? Yeah, just, just fixing that song. Fixing. Fixing. As you say in the South. Fixing. <laughs> it's vodka. Okay, so finding a drummer for the album, that was a uh, uh, thing that came up during the tour that we were doing in Europe. I obviously had uh, a short list of a few names of some of my favorite drummers. Will was pretty much around the top of this list. I love his drumming in Evanescence, and of course he's played with a bunch of bands. He's played with Nils Neal, with Black Label Society, and many, many others. When we were in Germany, uh, at the Frankfurt Music Mess, we were doing a show there, and uh, at the hotel we were staying at, we went down to the lobby that night, and uh, I got to meet Will Hunt. Well, I met Gus, I saw him across the room, and was very impressed by his long flowing locks, and I just knew that I had to meet that guy. Um, <laughs> no, I started talking, and I don't even know if he even mentioned the record at that point. You know, the next day I was thinking about that. He could be a great drummer for this project, for this album. His style fits the music completely. Gus knew exactly what he was doing when he asked Will to play in the album. It was pretty clear. He had this vision in his head. Yeah, a few weeks later when I went back home and I was I thought about it a bit more, I, I hit him up. Hey, you want to play on my record? And he was like, fuck yeah, I want to play on your record. Let's do it. And so here we are. Frank, or where are we? I don't even know the name of this town. It's close to Stuttgart. That's where we are. Yeah, he did a killer job. So that's how Will came into the fold. He came in, he set his kit up, he did his thing. We had the sound check done in a couple hours. He started laying down the tracks and it was just boom, one after the other. Exchanging ideas, discussing things, it went really, really fast. It went really, really well. What can I say? I mean, the guy's a pro. Ready? No, 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 no. The, when the beat comes in, after that. Like, can, can I hear it? There's really not, there's only a couple ways you can spin that. I mean, kind of continue doing what's playing there. Yeah. Now, just keep doing that. The, the way why we did that was to kind of build up until it comes up, until the next riff comes in. So maybe you can do something similar. That it's also in the beginning. Ah, snare missing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Είχες ώρες να βγεις από το στούντιο. Ε, εντάξει, ναι. Η εμπειρία των εφογραφή στο στούντιο είναι κλειστοφοβική λίγο. Δεν καταλαβαίνεις πότε περνάνε οι ώρες, πότε είναι μέρα, πότε είναι νύχτα. Μέχρι στιγμής πώς το βλέπεις. Πολύ καλά το βλέπω γενικά. Ο, ο Will είναι φοβερός ντράμερ. Τους καλύτερους στον κόσμο, απλά, στο είδο του. Και θεωρώ ότι είναι ο, ο καταλληλότερο ντράμερ που θα μπορούσε να παίξει αυτό το δίσκο για αυτή τη μουσική που έχω κάνει για το συγκεκριμένο άλμπι. Μουσική 
I know we got killer drum tones and it's going to be a really good mix. So yeah, I'm excited to hear the final outcome. Okay, one, great, nice, cool, nice, perfect. Great, yeah, that's it, that's it, Gus, good, 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 good. Cool. A little more down? Yes, that's it. Nice, and one more. One, two, three. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, I see what you mean with the hand. I didn't, yeah. I didn't think about that. But like this, it looks a lot. Yeah, this is much more real. Yeah, yeah. Now some with the guitar. Cool. We gotta get it bigger somehow. New state of mind. It's. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Maybe a, another crash. Give me another crash, just right now, just to listen to. Here we go. Yeah, the role of the producer these days is not just to coordinate the music, it's also to coordinate the whole production. And uh, I come up with ideas like where I'd like to record, which is here in the, the Whole Fist Studios where I record a lot. And um, when I'm doing a production like this with Gus, I'm producing, I'm the overseer. However, Gus is also producing with me. Hey Dennis, yeah. I, I, I like, I prefer this more simplified thing you played before. Gus prefers the more simplified thing you did before. He did like some uh, snare stuff. Yeah. yeah, right. I want to do like a, you know, the, the riff is like like a cold sweat kind of thing, you know. I don't know, like that. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. Yeah, yeah. You mean the snare, the one, and the three? Yeah. Yeah. You like snare all the time. Okay. Yeah. It depends on what tempo. Yeah. I want to have that kind of thing. I think he turned around. No, he means the snare on the ones, like one, two, three, four, bop, doo doo, bop, doo doo, bop. Right away, right away to the chorus, and then it's um, verse, but with one round with, for maybe a solo or build. Απόψε ολοκληρώνονται τα drums. Κλείνει το πρώτο κεφάλαιο. Τι ακολουθεί; Εγώ θα επιστρέψω στην Ελλάδα για να έχω γραφίσει τις κιθάρες μου σε σε ένα άλλο στούντιο που είναι ένας κοινούριος χώρος. Τι έχουμε κάνει μέχρι στιγμής? Don't trade on me, darkness, all from grace. Άρα κάνουμε όλα τα drop κάναμε. Το Pau και το Mr. Manson. When I first met Gus and, and um, I sat down with him, he was in my studio playing some guitar. It was, you know, pretty clear to me at that moment what kind of a guitar player this is, what a caliber of a guitar player this is. Even though he's a technical wizard, we got to say it like that, right? He's, he's a technical wizard. He still comes up with tasteful, cool parts, which for me is very important. <laughs> I always have a pretty good vision in my head of how I personally want things to sound. Um, it's very important doing a production because you've got to have a vision. Without a vision, you can't paint a picture. It's just uh, not possible. Although we've just started recording right now, I, I have a feeling that this is going to be a really strong album. I feel really good about these songs. More so because it's not an experimental record. I've done two records where I experimented with different things, so now I kind of knew where to go. I kind of start, started finding my way. Okay, so here we are at the Ultra Studio in Greece, Thessaloniki. And so here, here's the guitars that I use for uh, the recordings of my new solo album. The two main ones are obviously my new Jackson signature models. This is Blackie, and this is Whitey. Basically, same guitar, different color. Here's another one that I really dug and used for some of the recordings and some to get some different tones. It's uh, Charvel. I fell in love with this guitar, it's really cool. It has, uh, my pickups are active, but this guitar has passive pickups, so I use it to get uh, slightly different tones. It's got a maple neck, so it has a brighter sound. 
1961 Fender reissue Stratocaster. It's a Gary Moore uh, guitar, tribute to Gary Moore, actually. Um, John Cruz designed only 60 of them, and uh, I'm one of the lucky 60 people in the world that own one of these. An old Washburn acoustic that I have, that I used uh, for some of the acoustic parts. <laughs> melodies that are hooky, the songs have to be hooky, it's got to be a, a real ear catcher, everything. We're looking for earworms in every single song that we do. But we're looking to be, have a really, really good hard rock album, you know, and uh, a modern hard rock album, but with some retro vibes to it in respect to the guitar. I'm excited for people to hear this because I think we've got some incredible drum sounds going on. Um, once he's done doing his thing and Gus gets the wall of guitars happening. And it should be about the songs and having power and, and uh, kicking ass. Well, the idea is always to go on tour. I was never really a, a studio kind of guy where I just make studio projects. Uh, with anything I've ever been involved, I wanted to go out there and, and tour it. And again, this is going to be the case for this album. That is just a blessing. And of course, I plan on uh, going out there and, and, and bringing these new songs on stage. <laughs>